What's up guys? So, I was doing some cleaning and trying to figure out where this fucking rattle's coming from when I'm driving. I could have swore it was a muffler or the cats, but it's not. I found it. So, my dipstick is just fucking just barely in there. I mean, it's enough in there to be good, but, but there's the rattle that I was hearing when I was driving. Good thing that shit didn't fly off, so now I just gotta figure out how to mount it back and then yeah I'm glad I found it but I still want a black widow exhaust so don't tell the wife we'll see what it does all right now bring it down all the way down push it down all right thank you yeah that part broke all right so I got it back on I guess it just came off I don't know how the fuck it loosened up, but it loosened up from one of the header bolts. But what's weird is that the header bolt wasn't even loose. I had to crank that shit out. So it might have just slipped out, but I don't know how that happened, but yeah. So it goes right down there to that header bolt. That's what holds it on. So yeah, hopefully it stays now. So that's a lot better. No more rattle. It's, it's on nice and good. So that should hold. Yeah. What's up guys, so sorry for the light, it's getting late. I'm on my way right now to go pick up uh, dinner for us. So, figured it out. The EGR tube, uh, broken. So on the Bronco, the EGR tube and the F-150 is supposed to flex. That part where it flexes is very weak. I think the first time we brazed it, it lasted a long time. But I think just from the engine rebuild and taking it on and off and all that, it just gave up. So. We were gonna braze it again, but you know what? It's 20 plus years old, almost 30, so might as well just order a new one. So I got a new one coming. I ordered it from Rock Auto. It should be here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday latest. So I'll get it done this week. And then I also have an order from Summit coming. I don't know when that was gonna show up. It's a throttle body spacer, shocks all around. I'm not gonna tell you guys which ones because I know they're gonna judge me but the company that everybody's gonna tell me to get cost a fucking arm and a leg. So I went with some that barely came out. And the thing I like about these is they work for stock up to four inches. So anywhere in between, if I decide to lift it later on in the future, I can use the same shocks, which is fucking awesome. I got a new uh, intake filter coming because uh, when I cleaned mine, trying to put it back in on, put it back on, that shit sucks. So kind of fucked it up and bent it. I mean, it was used and old. I got it at the junkyard. So I got a new one coming and then a fuel injection rebuild kit. I was gonna go with the upgrade to the 97, 98 Explorer injectors, which have the four holes, but I'm just gonna keep the stock and use the same injectors and just rebuild them. So that'll work out fine. So now I know where I was losing power from, which is an EGR tube, which is gonna take away a lot of power. So I'm glad it wasn't anywhere else. I'm glad I found that dipstick rattle. But yeah, that EGR tube is in a, it's just a pain in the ass because you have to take off the upper intake, the throttle body, all the lines. It's just a pain in the ass to get to it. 
But yeah, I have a new one and I have to deal with that shit again. And then since I have it off, that way I can throw the, the throttle body spacer on and that way I can paint the intake plenum because it's kind of getting old and lame. So I might paint it black, I might paint it uh, all of all dab green. So I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, thanks for watching. Kind of weird video. I just wanted to wash the truck, get everything cleaned up because I wanted to figure out where the fuck that rattle was coming from. So I'm glad I found the dipstick. Uh, that it was loose. I'm glad I fixed that and then now I know where my rattles from so If my wife asks you it was my muffler and I'm still getting a black widow. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, Yeah, see you guys next time